Hi. Today on my workbench, a vacuum packer from Royal Catering. A device very useful and very versatile, not only in commercial kitchen but also at home. Um, but I cannot stress enough how important it is in a restaurant, uh, in well any place where you uh, work with food. First of all, because vacuum packing uh, makes the package a little bit smaller by sucking out the air. Uh, secondly, because it prolongs the life of all the uh, food articles. So let me just show you what this machine does and what it has. Starting with the top cover, you can lift that up. This gives you access to the chamber where the bags fit in. Uh, this particular machine is designed to work with uh, bags on a roll uh, with a maximum width of 32 centimeters. And what you do with it is basically lift this, put it inside, put it down. And this is actually a very cool feature because it has an integrated knife. So what you do is just roll out as much as you need, then just press it down, and with one slide you can cut as much bag as you need. All right, so then you close it down, you have the bags nicely stored away, you don't need to look for them or store it in a drawer or anything, uh, they're all ready to be used. And then, um, by pressing these two buttons, you open up the ceiling chamber, the say ceiling and vacuuming chamber. That's where the magic happens. So in order to seal the bag, that's what this is for, that's the ceiling element. Uh, it looks like something uh, that you would have to take off, please don't, that's how it works. That's the, the temperature resistant uh, Teflon coated uh, well, tape. Uh, where the bag is heated up and sealed properly. Uh, prop uh, properly. Um, the very important bits are also these two uh, insulations and well, and this uh, uh, rubber element, rubberized element. That's what creates the pressure. That's what, what seals the whole uh, thing off, so it can be vacuumed. So, in order to seal a bag, you just place it right there. Uh, this. These two bolts actually mark uh, the spot where it should uh, fit. You just press it down so it clicks. And that brings me to controls. Uh, and there's several. In order to seal a bag, you just use seal only. Uh, this just seals the bag, so it, well, it just creates a bag. Um, so you just press it down. Uh, the red light, I don't know if you can see it, with will go on, uh, so it shows you that it's working. When it's finished with the whole process, it will go off. It will just take a couple of seconds. Bag is sealed, let me just show you. So now it's ready to put your products in it. Okay, and that brings me to other controls. So let me just talk you through it. So as I told you, the seal only button seals the bag. Uh, then you have pulse vacuum. Uh, what this does is basically you can control how much air is being sucked out of a bag. Um, especially useful when you're handling very delicate products uh, that you don't want to squish in the bag. Uh, it works in a way, so just press it down uh, for as long as you need it and when you think that's enough, you just release the button, it will keep the bag uh, vacuumed, then you just press seal and you seal it off. Uh, the canister button, that's an extra option. On the side here you have an accessory slot uh, where you can put the tube and suck air out of a canister. This is not included, this you can buy separately. Then you have two settings for speed and food. So you can set the speed of vacuuming, uh, of sucking the air out. You can do it either slow or uh, fast. So for, again, gentle, very, very uh, delicate items, uh, you can use low or slow um, sucking so uh, it won't damage your product. For something like my carrots here that won't get damaged, you can use high setting and uh, well, it will speed up the whole process. For foods, uh, you can use either dry or moist, so you can seal off liquids in the bag. Uh, there's a slight difference between vacuuming uh, and vacuuming sealing. 
um, dry and moist foods. If it's done too roughly, it, the whole bag may explode, it will just leak down and you have to clean the whole device. Uh, so just need to do it gently, so you just put it for moist. Uh, vacuum and seal button, as the button says, uh, it automate, it's automated whole process, uh, so by pressing it down, it just automatically, automatically sucks out the air and seals off the bag. You can stop it by pushing it again, there's a cancelling function, so if you push it again, it will stop the whole process. All right, so let me just show you how it works. And, well, a bit of advice here. Whenever you're packing something, just make sure you roll up the edges a little bit. First of all, it stiffens up the edges, so it's easy to put your foods inside. Then again, it's never good when you overfill a bag, so this leaves you the exact amount uh, of uh, space that is needed for the bag to be sealed properly. Then again, when you're putting something greasy in it or wet, this rolling up the sleeve, so-called, uh, let's call it, uh, will protect the edges because when it's dry, it will pack up much, much better. Uh, when it's moist uh, or greasy, uh, the air may leak out and it will not be sealed properly. So, let me just show you how it works. Just unlock it place it in the right position over the ceiling element just lock it down, make sure it does the click on both ends and well, let's just vacuum and seal it as you can see it sucks out the air um, and it goes up to 0 0.8 bars so quite a lot of under pressure there uh, once the air is out it will seal it once the lights are off, it means the whole process is finished. So you just unclick it, unlock it, and there you go. That's your finished product. So any items packed like this will hold for at least a couple of days longer, which gives you that extra time, uh, which reduces weights and therefore costs. All right, so let me just quickly summarize what we have here. So you have this vacuum sealing machine with a separate container for your bags. Uh, very cool feature that uh, with the blade where you can cut your bags to uh, the given size. Then you have lots of functions where you can automatically vacuum and seal. You can just seal your bags. Uh, you can control how much air is being sucked out. Um, you can suck air out of the canisters with a special attachment. Uh, so very useful and very versatile and also very efficient with 160 watts of power. So if you are looking for a vacuum packing machine, just have a look at the website. There's a variety of them on offer. So you will definitely find the one that you need most for your needs. Uh, this one, however, comes with a three-year warranty. And if you order it, it will be posted to you in a very sturdy cardboard box, just like this one. So there's really not much that can happen to it during transport. It should arrive at your place safe and sound. Also inside, you will find an instruction manual. And please have a read before you start the device, because there's a lot of information there on how to prepare it for its first use, how to operate it. There's all the function really uh, cool explained. So uh, you can use it with no fear. All right, so that's about it. So remember, I'm your hands-on expert, so if you found this informative, just leave me a comment in the comment section what other equipment I can test for you, and I'll do it. So I thank you guys very much for watching, and i see you next time.